Hello my friends, so welcome back to another video, another loft makeover video, way overdue and I moved here in October 2022 and it's now mid-January 2023. I've just been living in this plain boring loft for the past two months filled with stuff I don't want to deal with yet so it's all just dumped here on the floor in the corners because I only ever go up here to sleep. <laughs> not gonna be the same exact vibe as the one i have downstairs which is like mid-century retro funky look i want this look to be more chill very cozy and as you can see i have more boxes more deliveries more room decor today's video is actually sponsored once again by the other aesthetic they sponsored my previous loft makeover so thank you again and this time they sent in more stuff two boxes and it's an all-in-one stuff for all of your room decor needs as their name says the other aesthetic they have all types of aesthetics for different kinds of people because personally i like more of retro funky y2k kinds of room decor so that's what i got here but if you like different aesthetics like dark academia cottagecore grunge goth indie pastel all that stuff they still have all of them in their website so i'll link it down below and if you guys are interested they actually ship almost to every part of the world so you don't have to worry and yes yeah, so watch me use the things as room decor all over my room and stick around thank you again the other aesthetic for sending these super cute items over i'm gonna link all the items that i got from them down below if you guys also want to matchy with me and today's plan is just pretty basic because it's already 5 p.m almost 5 p.m and i don't have the energy for the rest of the day but i'm gonna be building the ikea cabinet i got and i'm mostly gonna use it to store my stuff that I don't have space for downstairs so I'm gonna use it for storage and then I'm gonna try to decorate the outer portion of the cabinet so that it's still cute and I'm also gonna use it as like a mini table and I hope future Aliana does not get too much of a hard time <laughs> building this IKEA cabinet so now let's jump skip to when I finally finish building this cabinet one, two, three, go! So I'm gonna get this out first because I plan to put this cabinet here. I'm gonna use this cabinet to store all the things I want hidden but also want accessible like stationery, all my magazines, K-pop stuff, and books, extra books. Oh, and I bought a bunch of organizers. I don't know what it's called. It just arranges your books from Shopee. It stacks right there and I also got a huge big one. I have a lot of papers and memorabilia. I really don't know where to put it, so hopefully they all fit here. And also, this. Once I'm done with that, I'm probably also going to be tackling my bed area. I have two drawers here on my bed that I have not yet utilized and have so many junk laying around. So I'm going to put it there and also going to fix my bed sheets and hopefully put up my LED lights that I've been wanting to put up for the past two, three months.
And as you can see, I have three shelves right behind me, right above my bed. And I got this from Shopee. I asked my dad to help me install it because I don't know how to use a freaking drill to the wall. Set up my other wooden foldable table by my railings. I'm gonna put a bureau here. And that's my main agenda for the day. But yes, as you can see, I already have a projector and book over there. The reason I placed these shelves here on this wall, I have an empty wall right in front of me when I lie down. So when I open the projector, it's just gonna be like a big movie screen right in front of me, right in front of my bed. So comfortable. I don't have a set plan here. Uh, it's very obvious. Unlike my first room makeover, where I already knew where to place all the things I got. Now I'm just mixing and matching, figuring out on the way what I'm gonna do with this vlog. I just wanted to have cozy vibes and make do with all of the decorations I already have at home. Okay, hello, mini update. Like I just finished um, decorating my rolling cart and my foldable desk area thing. And honestly, that took so long. It took like more than an hour there probably because I really did not know what to put in my rolling cart. Like I originally wanted to put my art materials there so I can move it around and journal wherever I want to. All of my journals on the rolling cart and also my book and some stickers and other cute funky things I collected. And honestly, thank you Pinterest for giving me that idea because I really did not know what to put in my rolling cart. I don't like how do you decorate a rolling cart bruh? So I searched up on Pinterest and I literally just searched like rolling cart aesthetic room and it showed up a bunch of ideas so thank you Pinterest. And now my rolling cart is so cute. I'm so happy so I'm just it's just beside my foldable table and I guess this is like my journaling area and hopefully the next day I'm gonna be able to do more things with my room. Today it's all just about decoration first. Yes. Okay, let's do an update. See you guys on the next day. Hello, it's a few days later once again. And I've placed a few posters and postcards all over my walls. And now we're going to be doing the thing I've been waiting for. AKA my bedside table and my beanbag. Which is my dream, guys. Like, I grew up watching iCarly. And iCarly made me want to get... Or have bean bags of my own. Oh, and if you guys didn't notice, my electric fan was so freaking small. It's over there. It's just like a floor fan, and I hate it. So over the weekend, my family and I went to SM department store and bought a new fan. And then placed it here, there at the corner, along with the Wi-Fi router. And I still have to wait for my other box crate to arrive from Shopee. So I'm gonna do that on another day. But let's just time skip to when I have fixed that corner of my room. I plan to have that corner by the railing as like my cozy corner so I'm gonna also place my rug over there hopefully I can fit it and I'm also gonna put my bean bag there and my electric fan so hopefully it all fits there <laughs> and the Wi-Fi router I don't like that it's you can see the wires at the moment I placed it in this cute box crate I still have the other one coming in so that I can stack that box crate on top of that so that you don't see the other wires because right now you can see it's all out in the open and I don't like seeing wires like wires just stress me out so much and this is past Aliana talking about future Aliana but anyway since I'm done doing the cozy corner I'm gonna be doing the side table which is pretty easy honestly I'm gonna place all my bedside essentials there like my inhaler ponytail I don't know all the little knickknacks that sometimes I tend to reach for when I'm already relaxing at bed and I don't want to go down and get something like I think I'm also gonna tuck away all my wires and chargers there because right now it's always so just messy and out in the open it stresses me out like I said wires really stress me out I'm really happy with my side table I love that it's like super spherical and curved that's the theme I have in my room and it's 
also cute, funky, and retro. And yes, I'm very happy my room is gonna be coming together. Hello my friends, so this is the end of the love makeover video and hopefully this is not the last of the series, we'll see. Here's just an overview. I'm so happy with my new room, like I stay here 90% of the time. It's my home and our home. Um, I kind of filmed this pretty weirdly because not everything I ordered came at the same time. I always had to wait for my items to arrive so that I can film a certain part of my room. When you enter and go up the stairs to my loft, the first thing you'll see is my IKEA cabinet. This one just has my clock so that I can see it from my bed and then a few knickknacks I stuck on top and on it so that it looks cute and not a plain boring IKEA cabinet because I really wanted a green cabinet but it was sold out so. And inside those, it's basically basically like my shrine for my fangirl stuff I collected over the past few years like albums, magazines, photo cards, concert tickets so that when I open it, it makes me happy I also use this cabinet to store my memorabilia or like my washi tape, art materials, notebooks at the right when you go up the stairs is like a mini entryway and yes, if ever I do have guests over they have a lot of places to sit on in my room so you're welcome rolling cart that just has my journals, notebooks other decorations I've collected over the past few years like stickers for my journal, blah 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 so that's just like a little cozy entryway and then when you go to the right you'll see my bed and i really love my bed area like it's so cozy that's really the vibe i'm going for in this part of my room not really a retro the recurring colors are like pink green orange brown white beige blah 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 other memorabilia that i've collected over the past few years the only thing i really bought here from shopee is the new york poster using your own photos instead of buying all your photos from shopee makes the room feel more you and feel more cozy because all the photos most of the photos i placed up in my room have like a special meaning or like it's from different parts different eras of my life so it just reminds me of them and above my bed are more decorations and also my projector which i'm so excited because I, I can have like a mini movie night in front of my bed because I have an empty wall right in front of me. To the last part of my room is my cozy corner as I like to call it because it has a rug, a very soft rug, and my very nice and comfy and huge bean bag I got from an Instagram thrift shop but it's from Muji. Yeah, as I said, you can sit in a lot of places in my loft so you're welcome. I just have a bunch more decorations and posters and crates to hide my Wi-Fi router. I hate seeing wires. And in between my bed and this area is my very cute and retro funky side table. But yes, I like that it can hide a lot of things. Downside is I can't have a lot of stuff to put on top of the table but yes in the last part of my room i just have more posters and then beside that railing is this foldable table that i could use either to journal or like other stuff if i get too burnt out from using the same desk downstairs i have downstairs which is my usual work desk and my very nice green bench as you can see my green is really my new favorite color but yes that's the end of my room tour of my loft tour probably the next video i'll post is my room tour so stay tuned for that and thank you for coming with me like and subscribe comment down below blah 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 blah, blah. and yes bye <laughs>